At the age of 68, being called by the SRF to march, and you still wanted, I felt so great. Huh? Yes, it was very tough. When they asked for volunteers, all of them were put off of the training every Saturday from April at Budok Camp. And we used to march in the hot sun. But there were I, I was okay, 68, but I've seen 70 year olds and all, famous, those instructors from Safti, there were three 80 year olds, they were marching. And so we went on Saturday, every Saturday. And unfortunately, even on the actual national day, we had casualties. You no, know, some had to drop off because the health didn't permit them. Huh? It was tough. Uh, no more kiri kanan, no more pandang kanan, all this. And I was just telling, I don't want to see Padang and City Hall for the next few weeks. <laughs> Enough marching across there. Well, this, this idea of uh, SF pioneers, police pioneers, or the concept of vintage parade, I was told came from the Prime Minister himself, he wanted. I must thank the Bedok Camp Commander, who is now being promoted to Chief of Army, because Chief of Defence Force was, you know, they moved up uh, one of them, so all this lack of succession. I'm sure it's coming into politics. Uh. And he gave us a lot of pep talks, you know. Acknowledged it was not easy to train and march people from the ages of mid-80s and 70s and late 60s. But the instructors were good. You know, they were patient. They taught us. It was amusing to see some of them looking and said, Sir, when I signed up with the armed forces, you are my instructor, you know, in safety. And now I am instructing you. <laughs> the Prime Minister was gracious enough to join us after the march, everything on National Day, and come and sit with us. We were drinking and having a good time with him. And uh, I've just been informed, I'll be attending the National Day rally, and the Prime Minister has once given us permission that he wants us to wear this uniform. So there are 10 of us wearing the old Tomasek green, the navy badge, and the blue uniform.